Today's 10th race, the Greyhound in the Review Stakes Series for two-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings, $47,000 on the line. This race named for the former Hambletonian winner and world champion, at one time the fastest trotter ever, Greyhound who raced during the Great Depression and was a winner right here at the Illinois State Fair when he raced. Here are the starters. Number one, Rizzuto. Trained and driven by Arald Egan, owned by Stein Soli, Joe Sirocco, and Per Clausen of Florida, Ohio, and Norway. Number two is Living Image, shown by the Living Image stable of Versailles, Kentucky, trained by Ron Gerfine. The driver is Mike Lachance. Number three, Chipmate, owned by Christian Tactor of Allentown, New Jersey, and Kenneth Ross of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, trained and driven by Jimmy Tactor. Number four, Natural Arrogance, owned by Steve Brown of Lexington, Kentucky, trained and driven by Steve Waller. Number five, Coastal Clipper, owned by Norman Rose, John Nordine, and Cliff Grundy of Florida, New Jersey, and Michigan, trained and driven by John Nordine. Number six, Mystical Foil, owned by Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, Illinois, by Bill Wright of Morton, Illinois, by Jack and Peggy Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana, trained by Dirk Simpson, the driver Dave McGee. And number seven, Mo Monet Hanover, owned by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, trained by John Johnson, the driver Barrett Lindstedt. Five minutes to post at the end of the afternoon. By the way, the mutual department kindly requests that you would have all winning tickets cashed immediately following that 12th and final betting event before those non-betting races go to the post. Here they come for race 10. They're off and trotting. Natural Arrogance is off stride. There goes Mo Monet Hanover out for the early lead, along with Chipmate, who's down toward the rail. Rizzuto comes out racing in third, and then Living Image is fourth, heading on to the first turn. Natural Arrogance, after a break, is fifth, and he's on the outside, followed by Coastal Clipper, who's down toward the inside and on a break. And finally, Mystical Foil got away last, but moves up one position now, but some 18 lengths off the leader. They're racing by the quarter-mile mark, and they're being led by Mo Monet Hanover by two lengths. The quarter in 29 and one. Chipmate is second by four. Rizzuto goes third, heading on to the back stretch. And then Living Image, Natural Arrogance, followed by Mystical Foil, and a long way back to Coastal Clipper, who is last. Approaching the half-mile mark, it is Mo Monet Hanover, who's on top by two lengths. As they move that way, Chipmate is second by a five-length margin. Then Rizzuto, Living Image, Natural Arrogance, the half in 58 and 4, and the trailers, Mystical Foil and Coastal Clipper. Heading on to the last turn, it is Mo Monet Hanover, still with a two-length lead. Chipmate is still second for Jimmy Tactor as they approach the three-quarter. Gap of five, back to Rizzuto on the turn, and now up on the outside, Natural Arrogance is trying to move up. Living Image also moving up as they approach three quarters. They're still being led by Mo Monet Hanover. The margin still two lengths. Chipmate continues to travel in second. Three quarters and 129, a margin of four more lengths to Natural Arrogance and Living Image, who's fourth. Coming to the eighth pole, Mo Monet Hanover leads it by some three lengths into the home stretch. Chipmate takes to the outside, still trying to catch him. Mo Monet Hanover put to a drive. Chipmate is coming on the outside, but it's still a two-length margin for the leader. Mo Monet Hanover by a length and a half. Chipmate a final try. Here's the line. Mo Monet Hanover hanging on by a neck. Chipmate was second. Another eight lengths back to Natural Arrogance third in one minute, 57 and three-fifths seconds. Official winner of today's 10th race, number seven, Mo Monet Hanover, Bert Lindstedt, the winning driver. Joan Messina, assistant director for the Department of Ag. John Cisna, president of the Review Association, making the presentations for the Greyhound Stakes. 157 and three, a new lifetime record for this Bob Waxman owned trotter. Bob Waxman, an investments manager from Ancaster, Ontario. Sweden's John Johnson, the winning trainer. Quick word with uh, Barrett Lindstedt, the winning driver, before he gets away. Barrett, you and John Johnson, of course, hail from Sweden. Over the years, you've had a lot of success in America. 
How about this two-year-old trotter? He's been lightly raced so far. Why? Yeah, he was a little late, but uh, he, we raced a couple of times at Meadowlands, and uh, it's a good horse. He's a little bit hot, and uh, he didn't have any luck with the post positions. So I have to leave with him almost every time. That's why he gets a little bit hot. And today it uh, pays off with a victory, 157 and 3. We had Jimmy Tactor in the winner's circle yesterday. We'll tell you the same thing we told him. We enjoy the chance to get to know you folks who come from Europe to race in the U.S. It brings an international flavor to the Illinois State Fair. Barrett, it's good to see you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks. That's Barrett Lindstedt. He's the winning driver.